Great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Ole Miss Rebels and the South Carolina Gamecocks. Number 44 is, has a way of getting the most out of his teammates on the floor because of his senior leadership. This is the kind of upperclassmen young players respond to. The Gamecocks will undeniably have their hands full trying to put a stop to his contributions tonight, Dick. The Gamecocks know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Next... Pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vital. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Trying to draw some contact. They still don't score. Pushing up basketball. Help one another. Communicate. And he'll kick it back outside. Now trying to feed the low block. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Trying to feed the low block. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Cotton pump fakes. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nestle. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Show the replay on that. Down inside. Pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. They go into the low block. The power forward handles the pass. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of bounds. Seven seconds, showing on the shot clock. He shows the sweet touch. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Tries for two, doesn't go. Gave it up. Great steal, I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Up and inside! He puts up the three ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He goes for three, goes in.
throw away and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The Rebels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's it fly. He nails the shot. Look at this last play right here. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. There's the trap. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. There he is, strips the ball loose. The center receives the pass. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Intercepted. Point guard receives the ball. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dump it inside. The skip pass is picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the post. Trying to draw the foul. Definitely worth another look, Brad. Shoots from the top of the key. Makes it. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Feed. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet.
Working it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He shoots from right of the circle. He buries it from downtown. Picks off the lazy pass. He shoots from outside. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. We're about ready to hit the floor. Well, Dick, you've said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X Factor, and they have been that and so much more. And the ball goes out of play. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. And they come with a double team to stop it. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. That shot was definitely ill-advised. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They work it back to the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Three shots. Makes the foul shot. It's the second. That's a nine-zip run. Makes his third. That's a 10 nothing run. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Jumps into the defender. Goes. Both teams looking to get things going here. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. He 
He strokes it. The Gamecocks have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. There's a double team waiting there. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Carolina have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Somebody inside. Here's the trap. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen away. And again, they look to run. For two, this team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Fakes the jumper. And now there's a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Rebels are out of rhythm, and they just look frustrated out there right now. They've been shooting themselves in the foot. They better get their emotions in check. Steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Up fake. Puts up the tray. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. <laughs> Let's get back out on the floor. Gave it up. He makes a nice shot fake. Looking for a good shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He drains the shot. They scored 14 in a row. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 16-zip run. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The 
return a fadeaway jumper. No. Puts it up. The Rebels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They stripped him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Gets it to go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice high post screen. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He up fakes. Tries to get the D to bite. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. There's the fake. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Fakes the shot. For the bucket. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. For two. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. the dribble gives it up and now they'll bring it up the shot from the baseline the rebels have found a player who cannot seem to miss dick that he's on fire dick a great battle down in the low post but i think the offense is gaining ground here yeah he's getting great inside position has a great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they get the 45 degree angle which is essential in entering the ball to the post They come with a double team to stop it. Good job defensively. 
Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Picked off. Gave it up. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental Harvard toughness. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Gamecocks lead by 11. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? Watch here. Handing the ball inside like you see, in this highlight, will take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Knox nice. provided the offensive spark for the team in the first half. Richard? Absolutely. He's simply trying to put his squad in the best possible position to win this ball game. How much more can you ask from a star player? Dick start of the second half. We take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. Jumped in front to take it away. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Barber goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. Number 30, he gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He hits it. He shoots from long range. Nice shot. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Ole Miss are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He tries the three. He gets the shot to fall. 
this is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Tries for two. They still don't score. They'll work it around the arc. Pressure that basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Number 32 grabs it. Got to get back on defense. For two, gets it to fall. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. This is an old-fashioned stomping. These shots are falling from everywhere. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? To the line. Makes the first. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Moving it around the perimeter. Launches away. It won't fall. Entry pass in the paint. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He launches a three. Way off target. Cotton draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Second one, no good. Secures the board. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. He intercepts it. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's crazy in here, Brad. He's got some room from downtown. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. South Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. 
they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any opening. Pressure on the basketball. Now the turnaround jumper. And off the mark. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dump it inside. He tries a three ball. He gets it to go. Gave it up. Jumps in. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Controlling the ball. And they get the turnover. Here they come now on a turnover. With authority. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. Dumps it in. Strips the ball. For two. Perfectly executed. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. There's the trap. it off him and on the break it's stolen defense got it after knocking it loose working it around the perimeter let's see if they can get a good shot this trip takes the pass in the paint they move it into the front court they work it around the perimeter he rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. They work the perimeter. There's the rejection. Picks off the pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity for points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Moving it around the perimeter on the inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket, perfectly executed. On the outside, in the paint, leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. Looking to move it around the perimeter. 
On the dribble, gives and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Will take the shot. Makes the shot. Look at that spacing. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. Drains it. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He takes it away, and back they come the other way. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. From right at the circle. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And yeah, we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. To the charity strike. Gets his first. That's eight on answer. Misses the second shot. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. Gave it up. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. They work the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot, and the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The shooting guard with the ball. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Yeah. 
from way outside. He gets it to fall. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's the screen up on top. Number 23 is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. From beyond the arc. Off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. Puts up the tray. He nails the bucket. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He launches the bomb. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And he'll kick it back outside. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I've had a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Jumped in front to take it away. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. And he got them both. No problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Double team now, bad angle. Gives it up. Stolen. Look at that great defense right there. Not allowed to make the turn. He pulls the trigger. There was no doubt about that one. There it is again. He intercepts it. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Ball's kicked out from the post. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Shot clock is dead. Here's a double team. Picks off the lazy pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. South Carolina wins by a huge margin.